What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the gooeyest of Pokemon. We got ourselves Gudra for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Gudra, you don't really see this Pokemon too much, at least base form Gudra. You see a little bit of Hisuian Gudra, haven't really seen it much of regular Gudra. So I'm using it today, testing it out on the Regulation H Cash Ladder, trying to get some wins for you guys, and hopefully showcasing this Pokemon to its fullest potential. But let's talk about it a little bit. It is a straight Dragon type Pokemon with Sap Sipper as its ability and the leftovers as its item. It's got Dragon Terror type with Dragon Pulse, Sludge Bomb, Life Dew, and Protect. On top of that, you can pair this Pokemon up with Gyarados, who's on our team, pop Dragon Cheers, make this thing crit, and just do a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's talk about this Gyarados a little bit now, since we already mentioned it. It's got Intimidate with a Clear Amulet, Dragon Tail, Waterfall, Dragon Cheer, and Protect. We also have Dragon Knight. We can Dragon Cheer into that. Have that thing go crit crazy with uh, Choice Band and E Speed if we really want. Our final three Pokemon are going to be Archaludon, Pelipper, and Sinisha. Sinisha is just a great support Pokemon with Hospitality as its ability to heal up allied Pokemon. Then obviously Pelipper and Archaludon are an elite combo within this format. You're going to be seeing them a good bit. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Gudra. Moving on to our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Volcarona and Dancer Oricorio team. Now, I've been actually going up against a few of these on the casual ladder, and they can be a little tough because they can set up real easily, and they can really start to get after it. So how should we play this one? Who should we go after, and who should we lead? I mean, they got Ninetales as well. That could be a little scary for, like, a Warville purposes. But I mean, going into, like, our crit Pokemon, that could also be good. So do I just go, like, Gudra alongside with, like, Gyarados? We could do that and just rip a sludge bomb. I'm all about it. So I'm going to end up going into both of these as our lead. They do have that Volcarona. They do have that Oricorio. Again, that's super scary for us. But I think going in like Pelipper Arch Luna could also be nice because we can always hard swap our Pelipper, get Weather co Control if they want to go into Ninetales, and really just get after it from there. So I like it. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. So we'll go Arch Luna, Pelipper in the back end. Gudra and Gyarados, the double Gs. We'll call them the GG bros. We'll start us off in today's video. Hopefully we just sweep, because then I can say GG, Gyarados, Gudra. <laughs> like, that'd be awesome, but sitting OO, -oh, -oh, looking for our first win here. And I don't know how to feel about these Ori Corios, man. They just are tough to play up against, especially once they set up. They just hit so hard, and they can use, like, multiple different moves. But they're going to end up going into Rabombi and Whimsicott. I don't mind this. I mean, I am scared of, obviously. Obviously, I am scared of, what's it called? Whimsicott here. And Rabambi, they're actually both fairy type. Wait, are these all fairy type Pokemon? No. Um, I'm still gonna go for the Dragon Cheer. I'm still gonna do this, and I'm gonna launch a Sludge Bomb into this slot. Does Dragon Cheer hit through Protect? I think it might, but I I, th I still think we just attack because I think they set up potentially a Tailwind here. Maybe they think that my my Goo just protecting. He's gonna end up Substitute in turn one. Is that Rabambi? No, it's gonna be Whimsicott. So Whimsicott sets up the sub. Stun Spore is going to come out here. Oh my lord. Is this what we're dealing with? Is this what we're doing right now? Stun Spore? Stun Spore is the play. And Sludge Bomb's going to launch here, taking off that Substitute. The Substitute's gone. As long as I'm not paralyzed here, Dragon Cheer is free. It's free. Go ahead. Pull it off. Don't you dare be paralyzed. Thank you. The Dragon Cheer launches. We'll be able to guarantee crit. Um, I think a nice Protect from Gudra here is probably in our best interest. While this thing is... Chilling here. And then we could just go into, like, Pelipper if we want to. Could go into you as well. But Pelipper's got some speed cooking to him. I can save my Intimidate for later. Pelipper is nice. Pelipper is a good Pokemon to have. Yeah, I kind of want to pose this threat onto... Onto them. So I'm going to go into Pelipper here. And I'm just going to protect my Gudra. I feel like they just see us as such a big threat. I kind of wish I had, like, a different tarot type right now. It'd be absolutely amazing. Other than Dragon, because then I could just get rid of my Fairy Weakness and just start dumping on Pokemon. Like, a Fairy Terror would be perfect right now. But, we're going to go into Pelipper. And we're just going to protect our Gubius of Pokemon. I doubt they go for another Substitute. That would really suck. And they're going to go for a Leech Seed. Is that for Bombi? No, that's Whimsicott going for this. And actually, that would be fine. I got Sap Super. That's what I'm scared of. That's a gleam. That is what I'm scared of. Terrified of that's a gleam. See how much damage that's doing? That's doing a lot of damage. 
So from here, I'm gonna rip a hurricane. If you wanna go for lead cheated to me, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna go for sludge bomb into this slot. Actually, I should have reversed them. That's my bad. Should have reversed them. Cotton guard gonna come out here. How dare you? And you're gonna boost your defense, but you're still dead. I crit all the time. And stun spur's gonna fly here. So this guy's just here paralyzing my Pokemon. That's fine. I mean, Wimscott's gonna die out here, which I'm a huge fan of. And if I can land this hurricane, that'd be nice. But I should have swapped them. I should have swapped them. Hurricane should have flew into the uh Rabombi slot, or no, into the Wimscott slot, and Sludge Bomb should have flew into the Rabombi slot. That's what we should have done. And of course, I'm going to be paralyzed this turn, and I'm going to have to deal with that. Rather annoying. Let's see who they end up going into. Rabombi's sitting here with Dazzling Gleam Stun Spores, kind of just here to pester around. They are going to go into Nine Tails, which really sucks, but I am able to crit freely. And now it's going to be a turn for us to set up Tailwind and just go into Sludge Bomb. Let's see this. Are you going for a Roar Bell? Are you going to drop the Gleam here? Gujra soaks really well, actually. And there's the Aurora Bell. So I'm not too worried about Aurora Bell considering Gujra's critting for the most part, right? It's critting with these Sludge Bombs. And she's going to hit through the Aurora Bell. See how much damage that's doing? Critical hit, beautiful. Can I set up this Tailwind? I do. So now we got some speed on our side. Really good for us. Really good for us. So I got a little bit of leftovers action. Um, I could just protect Gujra this turn. And let Pelper die out. That wouldn't be bad, just to bring out, like, Archlodon, or I could just, like, swap. Because what's your speed with this Tailwind? Are you faster than... Yeah, you should be faster than Nine Tails, but I think... Do we want to swap Pelipper here? I mean, Intimidate really not going to do much. But, I mean, weather could be good. I think we just let Pelipper die out here. If we can land a Hurricane, we can land a Hurricane. So I'm going to do this, and on top of that, I am just going to launch another Sludge Bomb into just a little Nine Tails slot. We'll see a Terra type pop out of here. Please don't be steel on the Nine Tails. Please don't be steel on the Nine Tails. Okay, it's Rabombi. Rabombi's gonna Terrasalize into straight fairy. I mean, that's actually a really okay typing. Actually, pretty good typing up against my Gudra. But straight fairy just means more damage. Sludge Bomb is gonna finish off. We have fingers crossed that our Gudra can soak this Dazzling Gleam. That's a huge part of this match right here. Dazzling Gleam gonna launch. I'm scared. I don't think we can soak this. I really don't. Oh, we do all day. A lot more than I thought we would. A lot more than I thought we would. That's massive considering my Gujra's not paralyzed. We got speed with Tailwind. We got some leftovers helping us out. I could protect here if I want to. And I think our best option here is just to go back into Gyarados. Just in case they want to bring out a physical attacker. I don't even think they have a physical attacker. Thinking of their team, Volcarona? Oricorio? Who, who you got here? Ferret? It's Oricorio. I like this bird. <laughs> He's so cool. I like the bird. They put a nice big old Intimidate onto the bird, onto the Rabombi. Um, what typing are you, bird? Obviously, Flying Ghost. Okay, Flying Ghost. You do have the Veil up. Um, hmm. Guess we might as well do some damage, because I think Sludge Bomb could just KO this Rabombi. So we'll do that. We'll go for Waterfall into this Oricorio. We're going to look to dump on Rabombi. Rabombi could have Focus Ash. Let's be honest here. Could easily have Focus Ash, but Sludge Bomb is launching. It's not stab, but the damage is, is, is just better than everything that we've been doing. Another Dazzling Gleam flies through here. He's going to end up taking out my Gujo, which actually sucks. And I'm going to need Arch Ludon to kind of clean up this match. Of course, I'm paralyzed as well. Cool. Awesome. Nice little paralyze happening. And this thing's going to Quiver Dance. Oh, no. Not Quiver Dance. Oh no. We're not a fan of the Quiver Dance. We are so not a fan of the Quiver Dance. <laughs> Luckily, we do have Assault Vest with our Arch Lunar. We can't just Electro Shot this thing down. I might have to start charging it up though. But I think I'd rather just get rid of Rabombi this turn. And just Waterfall over onto the slot. So yeah, I'm going to take out Rabombi. I'm going to go for uh, Flash Cannon. And then hopefully my Arch Lunar has enough HP where I can just charge an Electro Shot. Right? The flash cannon says bye bye to Rabombi. I feel like this match was a lot harder than it than it should have been, right? These little Pokemon just pestered me. I feel like the Paralyzed did me dirty a couple times. Let's see what this Oricorio does. Is it going for another Quiver Dance? It's going to go for Revelation Dance. Okay, we soak rather well. That's good. Stamina is going to boost up. Cool. So they boost up. Waterfall is going to launch. Bop. Decent damage. They still have a War Bell. And our Tailwind is gone. So this kind of sucks for us to... Do we set up? I mean, I could honestly just Dragon Cheer in this slot. 
But I think Waterfall is going to be your play. I could Terrasilize in Grass. What Terra type do you have? There it is. You have Fire. Terra types aren't really anything that we need right now. I like our typing of Steel and Dragon. Especially up against like Flying. So yeah, we're going to just stay with our typings. I think I... Should I try to launch a Draco? I think I try to launch a Draco. I think we go for it. Quiver Dance can come out here. That's looking terrifying. That's looking terrifying. Can we just get like a crit here? I should, I should have Dragon Cheered. That would have been a good turn too. This thing speeds boost and special attack. Draco Meteor is landing, which is good. And this does, ooh, iffy damage. Real iffy damage. This Oracorio is going to do it. He's so going to do it. He's so going to beat me out here. Waterfall does go before, or uh, does go. Doing nice damage. And the snow's gone. I just can't really flinch here. Roar Veil's gone as well. So I think a waterfall will KO if we can land it. And I think we just have to go for Flash Cannon at this point. I'm gonna ro Roos. Is this, is this how we're playing this game? Roos coming out here. Flash Cannon doing negative five. And I'm paralyzed. I gotta charge up an Electro Shot. And hope to get a crit. It's the only way. It's the on only possible way. Only possible way. Only possible way we can win this. Waterfall should be able to do respectable damage. Without the Roar Bell, Waterfall should be able to do some nice damage. So I'm really hoping we can just land this and not be paralyzed. It could be really good for us. Respectable damage. Okay, so they have to make a call here. They have to make a call here. We have, we have Electro Shot charged up here. Are they going to go for a Roost? And hope for a Paralyze? Yeah, they're going to go for Roost. So we got Electro Shot flying. This thing's, this thing's annoying me. And if Waterfall can land, I think we can win this match on it. I really do. Oh my god, that did like negative five. And I'm Paralyzed? We're going we're gonna to lose. We're going to lose now. That Paralyze just won the game. Yo, these Paralyzed doing me dirty. I'll tell you that much. Unless I get a crit with like Draco Meteor here. Feather Dance coming through here. Gonna drop my attack. That doesn't do much. That doesn't do much. You're giving me a chance to stay in this match. I don't get a crit, but damage is decent. Waterfall could finish off this match. Cool, I'm not paralyzed. Thank you. Thank you. I really wanted that win. Really wanted that win, but I feel like that bird should have started attacking sooner. Definitely do. But GG's to our opponent. We start things off 1-0. I really thought that last match, the bird was just gonna attack my Gyarados and win the game because obviously my Arch Luna wasn't doing enough damage. But that wasn't the case. I let my Gyarados stay on the field a little bit too long. We end up winning that match. We start off 1-0, but now we're going up against a really tough Regulation G team with Lunala. They also have Ogre Pond. They got Clefairy. They got Incineroar, Urshifu, and Pelipper. How are we playing this one? I feel like their lead is probably... It's gotta be Clefairy and... And what's it called? And Lunala. That just seems like... That just seems like it's it, right? Hmm. Do I go Rain Squad? That wouldn't be bad. Pelipper and... Archie. Start boosting a special attack. I think that's our best option here. So I'm gonna end up going into both of them. Uh, I would like Gudra for, like, late game purposes. Could be solid. Especially with its, uh resistance to grass moves and water moves so honestly Gujar's gonna be a good late game Pokemon and now last but not least do we go like support Sinisha or do we go in with like Gyarados for Intimidates I think Gyarados could be good especially with the clear I'm up yeah about it let's do it let's do it let's try this one out I don't know how we're gonna do up against this regulation G team this one honestly seems a lot tougher than than anything we have really faced recently Regulation G teams are just, they just, they just rip through regulation H teams. There's just, we're already behind the match. We're already behind the match. Hopefully they don't bring Lunala. And of course they lead Lunala. So Lunala coming out here for the lead. I go into Arch Ludon. I do end up going into my Pelipper. And from here, do we Tailwind set up? Or do we Weather Ball? Kind of electro shot just to boost my special attack and just protect my Pelipper. I feel like he might meteor beam fake out the Pelipper. Definitely an option. Probably what you're thinking, so I'm gonna try to make a read here. He ends up protecting Lunala. At least I might be able to charge up my electro shot. And I want to keep my focus ash, which is why I really want to protect my Pelipper. So protect the Pelipper. 
We love it. Fake out the Pelipper. You're attacking somebody. At least I get to charge up my Electro Shot. I charge up my Electro Shot. I get that special attack boost. But the move's gonna get blocked. No big deal. No big deal. I like that special attack boost there. He's gonna end up going for a party shot. So there goes my special attack boost. Just what I wanted. <laughs> my special attack boost gone. So it's a neutral turn. Nothing even happens here. That's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So Pelper still has Sash. We don't have to worry about fake out this next turn. Um, and a Weather Ball into that slot would have been nice. And Clefairy's gonna fly through here. So Clefairy out and about. Um, could see a Terror type. We could set up Tailwind. Um, I think we go for Electro Shot rather than Flash Cannon. I really do. And on top of that, we're going to drop a Weather Ball, or do we Tailwind this turn? Speed could be nice. I'm going to go for Tailwind. Well, I have my Focus Ash. So it ends up Withdrawal and Lunala. That's fine. So Lunala with the Withdrawal here. And you're going to go back into Incineroar. I don't, I don't mind that. I, I don't mind that. We're both special attacking, so I'll take these Intimidates all day. I'll take these Intimidates all day. So Electro Shot, charging up. We're now fastest on the field. And this is a great time for us to just kind of set up this Arch Ludon. Let's go fairy has got like a trick up its sleeve. It might. Probably does. Electro Shot doing great damage. Half an Incineroar. And there's the Berry. I hate the Berry, man. Berry is one of the best items ever. It's just so good. It's so demoralizing, right? You're like, okay, I just did half damage to this bulky Pokemon. Now they gain half of that back. You're like, come on, man. Icy Wind's going to fly. We do set up Tailwind, so that helps out a little bit. Um, a Flash Cannon should take out Clefairy. And a Weather Ball should take out Incineroar. I mean, you can fake me out. Go for it. I really don't care. I don't have my Focus Sash anymore, so I'm ready to attack. So, I'm gonna go for Flash Cannon here. Look to just do big time damage to Clefairy. And then, just throw a Weather Ball over into the Incineroar slot. So they still have Lunal, we know that. And there's the Fake Out. Totally fine. I get a Stamina Boost. Now I'm plus two on defense. Now I'm plus two on the fence. Chance are another icy wind is flying out here, but Weather Ball, KOing? Weather Ball does damage. Weather Ball plays no games in the rain. Helper plays no games. There's a big time KO. Get rid of Incineroar, and he chooses to go for Life Dew, which sucks because Clefairy's already at full HP, and then Incineroar is now dead. All right, so our Trilodon is looking pretty good. Plus two on defense, plus one on special attack. Incineroar's gone. We got Tailwind up. We are minus one on speed, but I mean, with Tailwind, we probably should still outspeed. That's fine. We're still just going to take out this Clefairy, and if I can, we're going to launch another Weather Ball into this Lunala. I just feel like you could just be going for a follow me here, just to protect the Lunala. So I think just going into Flash Cannon is fine. And yeah, they just protect Lunala. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You're just letting my Pokemon get all free shots. I'm not attacking your Lunala. I'm taking out your Clefairy. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Now they're down to two Pokemon. We still have Tailwind up. Archer Ludon's chilling. Hopefully it's a physical attacker, because if it is a physical attacker, I might just intimidate it with uh, Gyarados. And it's going to be Ogre Pong. I'm going to intimidate this bad boy. Actually, do I use my last turn of Tailwind? Yeah, we got to use our last turn of Tailwind. Pick a Grass Terror type for you. We gotta use our last turn of Tailwind. I really wanna double down into that, but you know what? I'm gonna go Electro Shot, just boost my special attack a little bit more. I'm gonna go Hurricane here. I'll intimidate him next turn. I was gonna double down to Ogre Pond, but I didn't want the, the ye old spiky shield to come out here. Not trying to deal with that. Throw this game away to a double protect. But yeah, Electro Shot's gonna land, dude. Respectable damage to Lunal. Let's be honest, this Pokemon Super Bulky and Hurricane. Obviously connecting in the rain, and that is KO and Ogre Pond. So we used our Tailwind turn perfectly. I was going to swap into Gyarados, but I see we have one turn on Tailwind. We might as well use it. So Meteor Beam flies. We're not going to get the sweep, which really sucks. Unless for some reason you go after Archer Ludon. But you are definitely going after my Pelipper. And I'm really sad about this. That's why I thought you were going to do turn one. Just set up this Lunal and get after it. That's what I was scared of. But now you use it. Kill my ye old big beak bird, my paloops, gone in the dumpster. But now you're gonna have to feel my wrath with Archer Ludon on the field. And now I can bring out the gooeyest of Pokemon. Get that Gujra going. Get that Gujra flowing. Well, Archer Ludon's already boosted pretty well. Flash Cannon should do nice damage. Um, fairy moves I am a little scared of. I still have Terra, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna go Flash Cannon here, and I'm just gonna rip a Dragon Balls. GG's. Go for Moogai's Beam. Plus one. 
We have Vest though, so I mean Arsenal and Shitsu. All day, baby. All day, baby. Get that stamina boost, even though it's doing absolutely nothing. And then Dragon Pulse launches. Guja doing respectable damage, and this Flash Cannon should say GG's and Night Night. Stab, plus two, get it on out of here. So 2-0, oh, we just beat up on a Regulation G team. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Why am I going up against another Regulation G team? And this time, it seems a little harder. Mere Rhydon on the field, one of the best Regulation G Pokemon. They got Landorus, they got Farigis, Tornadus, Urshfu, and Surge Surfer Raichu. So that's going to double its speed and terrain. We got to watch out for that combo right there. So... Who should I lead here? Hmm. Hmm. Might need some speed with Pelipper. That is an option. I do like Dragonite here. We haven't used Dragonite all day, so I think Dragonite's going to be a good option for us. I could go Dragonite and Gyarados, but I really don't like Gyarados, especially if they lead terrain. It's just going to get ugly real quick. So I'm going to go into you. Um. Actually, you have Fire Terror type. I'm gonna go with Gyarados. We're gonna give Gyarados a shot here. We're gonna bring Gujra in the back end. And last but not least. I feel like we need Pelipper and Archer if we want a shot at win this game. I'm not gonna bring Gujra here. We need Pelipper and Archer. They, they are uh, the staple of this team. They are the glue of this team that hold it all together. They are the main centerpiece. We need them if we're gonna beat a regulation G team. If it wasn't a regulation G team, if it was a regulation H team, I feel like we would be better off like not using them. But since it is a regulation G team, I'm sitting here like, I need these Pokemon. They're just too strong not to bring. But our opponent's trainer card was sick. It was Lugia just like chilling in the ocean. It was cool. If you guys didn't check it out, definitely go check it out. But Miradon and Raichu is going to come out here. I think we're going to be forced to terrestrialize our Gary the Gyarados. And I do want to Dragon Cheer up this, uh, this what's it called. I do want to Dragon Cheer up. I'm just going to go for Break and Swipe. Break and Swipe can do some nice damage with Choice Band, Sab, and Crits, so... I'm going to Terrasalize you. I'm going to go into Dragon Cheer. We're going to look to get after it. I'm hoping Gyarados can survive whatever shot is thrown at it, but chances are they're just going to go into an Electro Drift and take out my Gyarados. If that's the case, I'll take this one on the chin, but we're trying to pull off this combo here. We're trying. Can't hate me for trying, guys. Let's see how this one plays out here. Fake Out's going to launch. You're in a focus, correct? Volt Switch gonna launch. You're in a focus, right? Oh wow, that did some damage. Please tell me you're in a focus, Dragonite. You're in a. There's no way you're multi skilled. It's gotta be in a focus. I'm really hoping it is. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, like, Jeans, how don't you know your team? I use a different team every single day for every single video. So my teams are always different. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget. But. Tornadus comes out here. Dragon Cheer is going to launch. Choice Ban. Breaking Swipe could be on its way. As long as we're in our focus. I believe this thing's in our focus. Yeah, we are all day. Breaking Swipe launches. Big time damage. We like that damage. That's some damage right there. That's some damage. Let me get the attack job. Even though these things are special attacking. Now the Breaking Swipe's going to launch. And... And chances are they might just KO my Gyarados. I could hard swap into like... Could I could honestly protect here, which I am going to do. Just going to protect, because I think you go for Tailwind. Maybe not. You might just go for, like, Liquid Storm. But either way, I think they want to target down my Gyarados since it's such low HP. So, we ride on in the back end. That's the scary Pokemon. We have Archer Ludon, who's okay, but we have no way of changing terrain, which is our... Our big fall. Tailwind comes out here. You were faster than us regardless, so I think that's a waste of a turn. I think you attack Gyarados here. Endeavor, really? Really? Endeavor? Really? Really, Endeavor? And we don't get a crit onto the... Onto the Tornadus. Really, Endeavor? Come on now. Really hurts soul. And it hurts that I'm choice ban, because I would love to just E-speed up right now. Love to just E-speed up, but now everything's not looking good. They should go back into me right and just... Sweep this game, correct? They go to Friggy, so, you, so you're saying there's a chance here. We'll go for Break and Swipe. We're going to keep Tornadus on the field because I'd rather leave Tornadus just chilling and not bring out that Miraidon just yet. We don't want to bring out that Miraidon just yet. We still have Focus Ash on our Pelipper, which is good. But this is, yeah, this is double KO right there. Rats. 
God dang it, man. <laughs> Not looking good for your boy, but uh, what was I expecting going up against this Miradon team? Still Endeavor? Give me a chance, man. Endeavor's such a good move, man. They got these two Pokemon on the field. They got Tailwind for next two turns, probably. But I get to bring out my Paloops. I get to bring out my Arch Slow My problem with Paloops right now is I don't have Wyguard on this thing, and Wyguard would be awesome. And I might just protect this thing and just get rid of uh, the Tornadus now. I feel like... I feel like we're going to need Focus Ash. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for Electro Shot. Look to take this thing out and boost my Special Defense. And then look to maybe just try to Draco Meteor down the Miradon. That's like our only hope of winning this match. It really is. hoping it's not like Fairy Terra. Let's see. So I feel like I need the Focus Ash. I think we, we need that Miradon to like target down this Pelipper. But this is not looking good for your boy. Ferrigis, what are you going for? That's the real question. So we end up just protecting our Pelipper. We want, we want our Focus Ash more importantly. And there goes the Bleak Windstorm. So Bleak Windstorm is going to connect. Um, we are going to get a Stamina Boost. But of course you're all Special Attacking. It's not very effective. We're going to be able to soak. It's going to get the Speed Drop. Watch. It doesn't. Cool. Awesome. And Hyper Voice going to launch. This is why I wish I had Y Guard. I wish I had Y Guard. Can you think I have Y Guard? I'm hoping our opponent like is going to do that. I, I hope our opponent is just like, hopefully you have Y Guard. That's what we need. We need our opponent to think that we have Y Guard so they stop going for these double ending moves. <laughs> but we don't have it. We don't have it. We simply don't have it. So obviously my Pelper could set up a Tailwind. But I think we have to use this turn or use our Focus Sash to attack. I really do. I really do. We still have Terra though, which is just unbearable. Our only way of winning this is if they don't Terrastalize into, into Fairy and we land a big time Draco Meteor plus one to, to KO this thing. Right? They haven't used their Terra, correct? Let's see. Yeah, no, they haven't used it. Um, how many turns left in terrain? One. We don't have Protect on Arch Ludon. Oh, man. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Only shot. Only shot. Maybe Protect the Art. Protect the Miraidon. That would be awesome. Out of the terrain. That would be good. But then you're still just gonna win this match. Electro Drift's gonna KO me. Let's go after Pelper. That's what we're hoping. That's why we want to keep our focus at. You have to go after Pelper here. You have to go after Pelper. Go ahead. KO or attack my Pelper. Just give me a chance here. Just give me a chance. That's all I ask. I do have Vest. Which is good. Parabolic Charge going to fly through here. Hold up. A chance here. Stamina's going to boost up. You going for Hyper Voice here? You are going for Hyper Voice. They didn't Terrastalize. We have a chance. We have a chance to win this. Sure, come here. Land. You don't KO? How? You don't KO? Let me see these EVs. There's no way that this thing's this bulky to soak up a stab. Drake would be here. Plus one. It was plus one as well. Hold up. Come here. Let me check out these EVs, man. Come here, Arch Ludon. Now you're pretty boosted. You're just not fully boosted. I like these EVs. I mean, speed doesn't have to be that high. But still, come on now. That's not KOing. We actually would have had a shot at win this match if we KO'd that. Because, actually, I don't have leftovers. Why do I think I have leftovers? I have Vest and I'm able to soak up a Hyper Voice. That hurts the soul. I'm going to run this one. Actually, I'm not going to run this one. Maybe on the off chance they miss a shot and I'm able to KO with, like, Flash Cannon here. And they're just going to Dragon Pulse regardless. So, GG to our opponent. We go 2-1 for today's video. Really wish we would have picked the KO onto that, uh, onto that Miradon and just see how this match would have played out.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Gudra in Regulation H. Now, we're only a couple of days out for Regulation H becoming available on the rank ladder, but for now, we're still hopping onto the casual ladder. Only a couple more days, so super excited to be revisiting some Pokemon we already showcased and using them on the rank ladder. I'm sure we'll eventually get back to Gudra and use it again on the rank ladder, but for now, this was definitely fun. It was definitely fun. We went 2 and one used this Pokemon to its fullest potential, and Dragon cheering it up, making it do some big-time damage with Sludge Bomb and Dragon Pulse. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.